Hello my friends! Welcome to Volshevnik Scale Modeling Studio. In this video I will share military vehicle and aviation dioramas I filmed on Mazon show which took place in UFM Arena at 23rd and 24th of April 2022. In the first part of this video I will show you military vehicle dioramas and vignettes. And in the second part you will see aviation dioramas. While watching this video, choose one military vehicle diorama and one aviation diorama you think is the best and put it into the comments. I will share my favorite model names at the end of the video and I wonder how many of you will choose the same one. I also would appreciate it if you was on the show and find your model in this video then please mention that in the comments and share your thoughts about the show. This will be especially interesting for those who was not able to attend Mozon show this year. If you ever been to Mozon show before, then you know it is one of the best in Europe. Only first class models are presented here. There you have huge amount of shops on arena itself. Also they use gymnasium building dedicated just for shops. It took me half a day to check assortment of all the shops and as a result my car got full with new kids and other stuff. But back to the subject, dioramas. To my observation, dioramas used to put your model into natural environment. You also add some equipment around and even add pilots, drivers or other stuff. To build really cool diorama you need idea, you need a message you want to pass to a viewer of your model. And this is where real creativity can be expressed. Also on other Mozone show I learned from the diorama workshop that there should be so called main hero on the diorama and it should be obvious. Whether it's a vehicle, a person or animal, doesn't really matter, but you need to get focus of the viewer on the main hero, main subject of this scene.
And remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any new videos. I will share more videos from Mozone Show soon, so you can enjoy those as well.
I hope you remember about my ask to choose best dioramas. I already made my choice, however, I should admit there is a small part of the video with military vehicles where I saw Dora. This is a huge model full of details with a huge gun and as you may notice I use a special lamp for filming which helps to highlight all the dark areas and uh, here it is. Dora is very dark and this additional light helps to see much more details and great painting with all the trust to weathering effects. This complex undercarriage, guns weaver mechanism and a bunch of hand trails are driving me crazy. I wonder how much time it took to build it and how much extra effort it took for a modeler to improve the kit. Man, if you are watching this video, I would be happy for you to comment on your great model of Dora about time and effort you made. So, while holding camera on top of DJI stabilizer with right hand, I have to hold a lamp with another hand to put the light on the right area. And to be honest, it's not an easy task, so I have to do a breaks time by time. That is all I have for military vehicle dioramas. Figures and boosts will go into separate video, but now please enjoy aviation dioramas.
So now it's time for me to announce my choice of favorite dioramas. I'll start with a military vehicle diorama. There were so many interesting ones and it was really tough choice. And what do you think I choose? Is it parent 1 and parent 2 ask for more cakes or lunch for little hungry alligators? I'm sorry to disappoint, but it is the drama called Factory End. It reminds me my workshop a bit and all the construction with a roof and a workshop desk and people inside make some positive vibes to me. And my choice of aviation diorama is one called Late to Rest. I've been to open air museums a lot and I just love that most covered surface. That emphasizes the age of the aircraft and possibly the age of the model. And thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Take care and bye bye.